four cosine. Okay. Welcome. All right, so what I have here is the sine of negative x uh, times the cotang cotangent of negative x. What we need to do is simplify this. So immediately, once I see uh, the negative input, I automatically think my even odd uh, identities. And even odd identities, if you remember, they have the sine of negative x that equaled negative sine of positive x. And that's actually true for cotangent of negative x. That's equal to the negative cotangent of x. And remember, because that is because the sine and the cotangent are um, both odd, um, both odd uh, functions. So therefore, that's how they're going to work with that even, um, even identity. So now what we need to do is go ahead and replace them with their, uh, replace them with what they're equal to. So here I have negative sine of x times a negative cotangent of x. Now, it's really hard to kind of simplify sine times cotangent unless we rewrite cotangent um, in terms of sines and cosines. So I can do that by have sine of x times negative. Remember, tangent is sine over cosine. So cotangent is going to be cosine of x over sine of x. And in this case, you can put that over 1. So therefore, you can say those are going to divide into 1. My two negative signs are going to multiply to make them positive. And therefore, I'm just going to be left with cosine over 1, which is just going to be cosine of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify uh, using your even and odd trade or max identities. Thanks.